there will be times when we'll be dealing with lines of all kinds of different lengths and some of the time the lines will be very long to draw and we don't really want to display them in their original length and so what needs to be done is that we need to convert those lines to a unit vector the unit vector is always the same size and that helps us in a lot of different ways for example if we can get all of the lines to be the size of the general unit vector for example one pixel and first converting them to that length and then by multiplying that value by any number we want we can take a line pointing in any direction and convert it to a line that points in exactly in the same direction but has the length determined by whatever number you want it to be so for example if you want all of your normals to be 10 pixels in length first you convert the line to a unit vector and multiply it by 10 let's go back to our segment library and add the unit function this function will convert this segment to a unit vector we want to return the result as a new segment let's center this unit vector around the center of the coordinate system in order to calculate the unit vector the key here is to divide the vector value by the entire vector's length and the same goes for vector y coordinate and so this will produce a unit vector uh, somebody's cutting grass outside of, and that distracted me from forgetting adding calling length as a function because remember the length function is this one that we already created before and so moving on we probably also want to add a function that multiplies this vector by some value multiplier and let's go ahead and take this back x and multiply it by the multiplier this back y same thing when used together with the unit vector function multiply can give us ability to extend the unit vector to as many pixels as we want specified by the multiplier because in the end the unit vector will be very small it will be between 0 and 1 pixel so drawing this unit vector on the screen will not produce any results at all but by multiplying it by a certain value we can actually determine the length of the vector that will be pointing in that same exact direction and so now what I will do I will save the segment library and I'll go back to our game code and here we have the normal which is n and I'm going to make a unit vector from that normal let's try drawing that unit draw let's draw this in green let's save that and I'll refresh the browser we're not seeing anything here at all other than small dot here which is probably accurate because the unit vector is so small and that's kinda the whole point of converting this line to just a direction vector that's very small it's not actually used for visually displaying anything 
But now let's use the multiply function now on this vector and multiply it by, let's say, 20 pixels. And save and refresh the browser. Oh, it disappeared, but it's probably pointing in a different direction. That's why we're not seeing it. Remember that this is the unit vector of the red line. And what we're trying to do here is to move the red line to the center of the blue line so that the normals become a little more intuitive to visualize. And so let's create a unit normal and make it equal to a new segment that we'll be creating. This unit normal will be coming out from the center of the blue line. And it will go in the direction of the unit vector that we have just created. Unit vec y. And now that we have created it, we're going to draw it. Let's make this vector red as well. Now I'm going to refresh the browser to see what happens here. And we see a small dot in the center. But because this is a unit vector, it's so small, we're actually not seeing any lines. And so this is where the multiply function comes into play. And what we want to do is this unit that was created, we want to multiply it by, let's say, 50. Let's save this and refresh the browser once again. And now we have this normal coming out from the center of the blue line, which looks a lot more intuitive. And at this point, I will delete the older red line that we no longer need. We still need the calculation. We're just not going to draw it on the screen. And I remove the center of the red line as well. Let's save that and refresh. And so we're left with normal of this line. In my next tutorial, we'll add mouse controls so we can actually control the line and see how the normal changes direction based on where the original line is pointing to. Until then, you can download the source code for this tutorial by clicking inside the box that you see on the screen. And you can also support creation of independent video game tutorials by submitting a donation. You can just go to the link that you see on the screen. And if you feel like helping my channel, you can do that. So I appreciate all support that I have received so far. And I will see you in my next tutorial.